Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hello goodbye, Maxime here, biome, hmm, is there anything fun to report on this map? Not really, I mean this map is pretty well sealed, hey hey hey, but seriously, there's not a lot of tricks. I'm going to focus on nades and stuff like that, but also show you the few tricks I found to give you some easy wins. And to be fair, it's fresh and new to matchmaking, so a lot of people don't know how to play the map effectively, which I'm going to give you guys some tips on as well. Number 1. Holding the sights. There's so many angles, so here's some advice. Holding A from here, here, and even here is very good. On B behind quad, and whatever this area is called, is also very good. So use these well and win some CT rounds. Oh, and avoid this one, it's terrible. Number two, the meeting points. CTs have pretty good advantage on this map from their best spawns. On A long, you can move up pretty close. You also have time to get inside A main. You will be the first to peek middle, which could result to a free kill. Terrorists will arrive right behind this door, so be careful about that. And lastly, B, you'll have a tiny advantage for this peek before T's get to you, but then you really need the closest spawn. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get down to some nades, tips, and tricks. Number 3. Triple tower is possible in B main next to site. Just having two players crouching will be enough and might give you a free kill. You can also do it the other way around, but that's if you want 3 CTs on B and it's not as powerful. Number 4. You can also boost a player up heaven on B. Tell them to crouch here and that's it. Easy peasy. You can also do this skill jump to make it over yourself or, or, or not. I told you it worked. <laughs> Jokes aside, going around doesn't take much time as you might expect. And there's a quick shortcut near stairs. Number 5. This pop flash is so good. Let's say you're holding B with an op. As a T, go to this corner, aim as shown, and release. Boom. Have teammates ready and you'll be able to push. Number 6. From here you can throw a decent smoke and a flash to avoid any confrontation from heaven. Make sure B is clear though before attempting this. Number 7. Here's two good smokes for A long. First one is from this corner of the planks. Aim here and throw. Second one is pretty dope. From this corner, find the dot. It has to be this one. Run forward and release when your crosshair is outside. Not only does it smoke whatever this is called, but it creates a useful one way so you can pick off watermelons. Number 8. Can you actually do any good smokes from alt mid for A without the need of a jump throw or any movement? Yeah, I found one. Jump up here, line up, and aim as shown. This will bounce neatly in front of A short, making the site less exposed. Number 9. This position is amazing. Let me show you why. Throw a smoke here and it lands double doors. Now go up and aim on this gray square and release. It lands inside boost area. Two for one basically, and you can also flash both positions. Number 10. This one way smoke is pretty useful for B because you can quickly run to cover if needed and it's easy to do. That was a regular underhand throw by the way. Well, the fun is over. I really hope Sub Zero is more fun to be honest, but guys, like the video to support my content, and sub with notifications on to not miss any future uploads. YouTube can be hard to trust sometimes. I'll see you guys soon, stay awesome, and go bananas.